Hi guys and welcome back to another fly fishing video. So in this video what I want to do is show you my top 5 fly patterns for the back end of the season. So without further ado, let's get into it. It has been the strangest of years weather wise, which has had a knock on effect on our fishing. A wet August ensured that sport remained steady away, but unprecedented heat in September saw large and small still waters alike back in the doldrums, with fishing being difficult on many venues. Don't worry folks, you did not suffer alone. I was out on Grafham and Rutland during that period and the fishing was extremely difficult. So what I'm hoping for is a fantastic back end to the season. So let's jump straight in with number one. No, no, not that terrible band from the 80s. Snakes have been around for some time now and work well in every colour of the rainbow, but the white snake works particularly well at this time of year. When they first appeared on the scene at around 10 centimetres, they were much bigger than the current snakes gracing their casts. 5 to 7 centimetres seems to be the sweet spot for the pattern now. The snake is an articulated fly and in its more subtle colours it is more than likely taken as a leech but the pattern I'm showing you here is designed primarily to represent a small bait fish. Having been a competition angler for most of my fly fishing life, I have really been missing out on these patterns. They are so effective and they've worked everywhere I've tried them, including some rivers. A braver angler than I might want to fish more than one on a cast, but I like to keep it nice and simple. I'll fish it on a seven weight rod with about 10 to 15 foot of tippet material, generally about 10 pounds plus, because what I like to do with this fly is bring it back at some speed. So I'll either use a roly-poly retrieve or long fast pulls, always remembering to hang when I get to the boat. That's very often when the fish will commit to the take. Number two then, the sparkler booby. This is a fly that works really well in bright conditions. The fly can be fished as part of a washing line setup, supporting some small hare's ears or shrimp patterns around the weed beds or other structure. As far as retrieving the fly goes, you can do this in a multitude of ways. I like to fish it on its own, on a sinking line. I tend to cast out as far as I can and slowly figurevate the fly back. This descends through the water column so you're exploring all the depths and eventually you will encounter the fish. As well as a primary fish taking fly, it can also act as an attractor, bringing fish into your cast where they might well take your other more subtle flies. You can mix it up of course, you can um, put long pools in, you can roly poly, you've got to experiment on the day until you find out what the fish are after. Fly number three then, the daddy long legs. You have probably had a bathroom full of these bugs. If you left the window open and the light on, they're more than likely going to make their home in your bathroom. The crane fly provides an all you can eat bonanza and will often outfish all the other dry flies in your box. It can be fished static as you would any other dry fly. Fishing it short ensures you will see any opportunity and be able to strike when the moment comes. It will also work well retrieved either on a floater or a tip line. I often put the daddy on the point and fish a couple of small hoppers or bobs bits above it. It's a very effective way of fishing this fly. So far so good. If you're enjoying the videos folks, please don't forget to give them a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. This helps the channel grow and it encourages me to make more content. That said, let's jump straight back in. The humongous. The black and gold humongous has accounted for many a big brown trout over the season. But as the water starts to cool, the white and silver version will come into its own. I like mine big. The one in the picture is tied on a Hanak H925 barbless hook at size 6. This is a heavy wire streamer hook and it is more than up to the job should you encounter one of the lake's bigger fish. With the chain bead eyes at the front of the hook and the long marabou tail, this fly has an enticing movement in the water that is sure to attract any predatory trout. I like to fish two of these on a fast sinking line, generally a 15 foot leader 
with the flies 10 foot apart. It will work with slow retrieves like the figure of 8, but a roly-poly retrieve or long fast strips will get the best out of this fly. Always remember to hang your flies, as often that is when the takes will come. The BDI will ensure the fly flutters back down when you lower your rod and it can be very enticing to trout. Last, but certainly not least, the popper fry. This style of fly has pretty much replaced floating fry in my fly boxes. For my money, it just has more functionality. It can be left static near the edge of a weed bed or pulled back to induce the take. There is very little more exciting in fly fishing than watching a big bow wave behind your fly, followed by an explosion on the surface of the water as the fish takes. This can also be utilised using a fast figure of eight retrieve. Putting some sharp, quick pulls in will imitate a dead or dying fish, and this will bring trout from all over for an easy meal. This fly can account for some of the more wily resident fish, and it may well be responsible for your next PB. Don't be without it at the end of this season. Well, that's my five back-end bankers. Was there a fly there that was one of your favourites, or is there a fly that I might have missed off the list? Please let me know in the comments section below. The swim tank may not give you an accurate representation of what the flies look like while they're being retrieved in the lake or the river, but it will give you some idea as to what they look like under movement in the water. If there are any fly patterns you would like to see me tie in the tutorials, please let me know and I'll do my best to get them up here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.